Hey everyone, it's Lexi and today I'm going to be doing the underrated book tag. This book tag was created by Obsessed Reader and I'll rank their video down below. So I think this is a good tag to um, be doing because I think, especially with like booktube, it's like the same 100 books that everyone seems to just cycle through and around. So I think it's kind of good to um, introduce more books into like this mix. So the first question asks, what's one of your favorite books that you feel is underrated? And for this one, I chose The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Steedman. And this book follows um, a couple who um, is a lighthouse keeper in Australia and he kind of has to go out on this island. And they're unable to have like kids. Um, the wife in this has had a few miscarriages, but right after she does have a miscarriage, like this um, boat washes up on shore and there's a baby like a dead man in there but the baby's alive so they kind of take this baby and say that it's their own the one that has died so um this book just kind of revolves around like kind of the morals and them trying to deal with like the secret and raising this child as if it were their own so then it's definitely a heartbreaking book to read it's just this was probably one of the favorites that I've read last year and just heartbreaking and definitely a very good read. I highly recommend this one. So the next question is, if you could pick one underrated book to be made into a movie, what which would it be? So for this one, I chose The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This is a book that I include like in every video. It was just this go um, that good. It was the best book that I've read this year, if not the best book that I've ever read. And it takes place in World War II and it kind of follows... Um, two sisters in Nazi occupied France. One of them ends up being a spy for kind of help smuggle allied fighter pilots who fall into France back into Spain. And then the other one is um, a mother who um, has to, is forced to um, live with a Nazi in like her house. And it was just an amazing book. I highly recommend it. And um, if you haven't picked this up, you probably should. So the next question is, which of your favorite authors do you feel more people should know about? So for this one, I have Tess Gerritsen, who is the author of the Rizzolian Isles series, which I mentioned before, Kristen Hanna, who's also written The Nightingale, and then Lane Moriarty. And I feel like these authors I don't really hear much about on BookTube, but I know, like, I know The Nightingale is especially popular and all that, but I feel like people, um... I feel like people need to venture out into these genres. So if you are looking for something different, I highly, I highly recommend looking at like the, some of these authors' works. So the next question is, if you could pick only one book to promote and make more well-known to everyone, which would it be? And for this one, I chose What She Left Behind by Ellen Marie Wiseman. And this was an amazing book that I've also read this year. It's historical fiction, and it talks about this girl... Well, it's a parallel story, one, like, modern day, who's kind of learning about this, um, story about a girl who, in the 1920s who was forced into, um, a psych ward by her parents because she didn't want to marry, um, be forced into a marriage. So as punishment, her parents, like, send her to the psych ward to live there, and it just, um, it's accurate in its, um, description of what, like, um, how people viewed mental health and just kind of the whole system there. This book is very good. It's very eye-opening and again with like if you're looking for a good historical fiction book then I highly recommend you pick this one up. So the next question is do you have a fair favorite character in an underrated book? So for this one I chose Demma Doyle from the Great and Terrible Beauty um, series by Loba Bray and this is book that I've seen sometimes on booktube but it doesn't it's not as hyped up as like definitely like Throne of Glass or the Lunar Chronicles but I feel like this one is just up to that um, standard this is kind of um, it takes place in the 1800s and Gemma is sent to like a boarding school and she finds out that she has like this power where she can transport into another world and she's just a very strong willed character and you and she's um you definitely get to see a lot of character growth in this. So if you're kind of looking for a different fantasy that's kind of outside the, the standard one, then I highly recommend you to pick this book up. So the next question is, what book series do you think is very underrated? And so for this one, I chose the Galaga Girls series by Allie Carter. And these I've been reading since middle school. And I just love them. Um, even now, like as a university student, I still will reread these. And just, like, even though they're for, like, a middle grade audience, um, I do find them enjoyable. There's certain aspects of it 
throughout the book just with like the friendship and just kind of figuring out where you are in like this world. It's very good. I feel, I think there's six or seven of these and they're just really good. Very strong female characters and they do, like the books do start out for a younger audience but they gradually get darker the further you go along so I think that's also good and I feel like more people need to check this series out. Question 7 asks, in which bookstore have you found the most underrated books you've read? Um, I think I do most of my book shopping on Amazon. I hardly ever actually physically go into a bookstore unless it's used. So I would say Amazon. I just look around. If I find like one author that I like, then I like will look at the recommendations that they have on the bottom. And then I kind of just go from there. So question 8 asks, if you could turn one not so well known character into a real life celebrity, who would it be? So I guess this is kind of cheating because this, um, book series has been made into a TV show, but I would have to say Jane Rizzoli from the Rizzoli and Isle series. Um, the character from the TV show is kind of very different than um, the Jane in the books, but I feel like the move or the TV show does a good job of complimenting kind of her strong will. And if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. It's on TNT. They have like weird seasons, so they like go on for the summer and then they come back like in January and February. But um, she's just kind of a strong will and kind of sassy and I, I think she would be someone to, fun to see in the public eye. Especially because she does give the boys a hard time that she works with so I think that would be good to see. So question 9 asks, are you the kind of person who would want to keep unknown books your little secret or do you want to share it? Sharing obviously because I'm doing this tag. And the last question asks, who do you tag? I tag anyone. Um, let me know in the comments if, you do, if you've done this video and I'll check it out. So. Yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments below some underrated books that you think I should check out. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.